If you've got your block or cushion, you don't need this, but it might be helpful to stop you cheating, pop the block this way around in between your knees. And you're gonna try and keep your hips, knees, ankles and toes all facing straight ahead. So we're gonna be doing a thoracic twist, an upper body twist. And what you'll probably notice as you do this is how your knees and your pelvis want to come with you. And if you're doing that, you're not twisting your upper back, you're twisting your pelvis. So we don't want that. We're trying to ring you out through your spine and not allow the pelvis to come with you. So firmly ground down into your feet, make sure the knees are sticking in that direction as are the hips and the pelvis. And what we're gonna do is twist as best we can on the chair that we have. Your everyone's gonna have slightly different chairs, so kind of do what you can. This hand here, so in my case, my left hand on my right thigh is active. I'm like sort of using that hand to crank me open a little bit more. And it's hard for me on this chair, but I'm also trying to keep this rear shoulder down. So you can see there how as I twist, my shoulder's trying to go up around my ears. And what I want is to try and keep that shoulder down because that's gonna put more work into my thoracic spine. So this is super active through the hands, the arms and the shoulders, and you're trying to be active, drawing almost your knees and your hips in the opposite direction, so don't let them come with you. So we're gonna do another 30 seconds of this on this side, and then we're going to do the other side as well. So pelvis drives forwards, going in the same direction as the hips and the knees and the feet. The shoulders pull down. My left hand is active against my right thigh, and I'm using my right upper arm to create more rotation. So I'm kind of pulling my right arm backwards and that's helping me get a little bit more of a juicy twist through my thoracic spine. So that's the kind of mid to upper back. One of the most flexible parts of the body, or should be, uh, but for many kind of, you know, sedentary desk workers, it's often one of the stiffest parts of the body. Will feed into headaches, migraines, tinnitus, vertigo, lock jaw, neck pain, all sorts of stuff will happen if your thoracic spine is stiff. Okay, we're gonna swap sides. I'm gonna be facing away from the camera, but that might give you a bit of a break for my loud voice for a second. So thinking about all the same stuff, we're keeping that engagement through our lower body facing forwards as we twist our upper body to the left this time, driving pelvis forwards, using right arm or right hand against left leg and pulling left shoulder down so that it's not up by our ears. And then we're trying to use our sort of left hand and left shoulder to crank us open as much as we can tolerate while still retaining our breath. So we're not losing our breath because we're trying too hard here. Just over five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. So that sitting chair twist. Okay, we're gonna stand up, couple of shoulder exercises, back